Hello one and all, how are you all doing today? Today is day 7 of my 365 day body transformation. And why am I doing this? Because I'm bored, but more on that a little bit later. Right now I want to get to what type of exercises I'm doing today on day 7. Uh, today I'm doing some curls and I'm doing it with the, uh, the light weights, right? I'm doing it with the 5 pound weights, 5 pounds per arm. Uh, and that's, that's right for me, uh, who's 200 pounds, right? What you have to understand is, uh, for me, I'm not just like lifting them a couple times. I'm doing them, uh, for the most part, to failure. So what I'm doing is I'm doing uh, 150 um, reps per arm, and I'm doing three sets of 150 reps per arm. So um, so that's what I'm doing today, uh, as far as like working out the uh, the muscles. I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build strength right now. I mean, size will come in time. But right now, I'm just trying to build strength because I've been um, I've been out of the game so long, right? So, what else am I doing? I'm going to be doing more dips today. Today's an upper body day, and I need to stick to my push-ups. I'm going to be doing at least 80 today. But if I'm feeling up to it, I might uh, I might double that. And I do it in. Um, if you're wondering how I do push-ups, what I do, right, is I uh, I start with five. I go to 10. I go to 15. I go to 20. Then I go to 15 to 10 to 5, and that, uh, that, that's something like 80, 80 push-ups. So I might do uh, one or two of those uh, total things today. And that's the type of works out, workouts I'm, uh, uh, that's the type of workout I am doing today. I'm going to be doing um, upper body uh, push-ups, dips, and um, curls. Now uh, let's get on that, talk about boredom if I can, right? So. I was talking about boredom earlier. Really. Why am I doing this? Because I'm bored. And there's not a whole lot more to it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm doing it because, uh, you know, I was injured and I'm trying to rehabilitate myself. But a lot of what I'm doing is is because I need to be doing something. And, and you're no different. And let me explain what I mean by that, right? So... Real quick, there was a um, there was an experiment done on people. I don't remember the specific details, but I do remember the major points. So in this experiment, people were stuck in a room with absolutely nothing to do, right? Absolutely nothing to do. But they were attached to a wire that would give them a mild electric shock if they themselves chose to push the button, right? And it was enough of a shock that it was uncomfortable, so it wasn't like this pleasant little shock, right? So, what um, what did uh, what did people do? Did they shock themselves? Well, they sat in their room with nothing to do for an, a prolonged period of time. And guess what? When they were sufficiently bored enough, they started pushing the button to uh, electrocute themselves, to shock themselves. And the reason for this is because the pain of the electrocution was. Uh, was it was less painful than the pain of uh, of doing nothing, the pain of their own boredom. Their boredom became so intensely painful that they they shot themselves just to mix it up, you know, just to mix it up. And and I want to talk to you about this real quick because uh, boredom is a, a double-edged sword, right? So it's it's like this. Um, you know, I might not be talking uh, to you today exactly, but I'm talking about people in general, you know? The things we will do to escape boredom. There are a lot of people who have, uh, especially over over the whole quarantine, right? There have been people who have, uh, who have been uh, drinking too much, taking too much drugs, and uh, a lot of other things. And uh, there are different reasons for this, obviously, obviously. Uh, but I mean, these are, these are like real stats that like, you know, drinking went through the roof during uh, quarantine and all that. And I think not, in small part, it's due to uh, to uh, boredom, just uh, just uh, being stuck in your own thoughts all day long, right? And there's a saying, there's an old saying that uh, idle hands, meaning like hands that don't do anything, you know? Idle hands are the devil's plaything. And that's true, because what kind of mischief can we do just because we just can't take it anymore, you know? So, what is the antidote? So let's look at the people of Japan for a second if we can, specifically the samurai. So they would say that the samurai would dedicate themselves each day to the uh, search for attaining perfection in everything they choose to do. And what does that mean? It doesn't mean they were uh, they ever thought they would be perfect at anything, and it doesn't mean they were trying to be perfect at everything just to be perfect at everything, you know? But it means is the things that were important to them 
they uh, they dedicated themselves to becoming a little bit better at it each single day, each single day a little bit better. And I think that's quite amazing. You know, there's a saying in Taoism, and what you have to understand about Taoism is they call it the 10,000 things, basically all knowledge and creation. And, and I'm sure I'm simplifying a little bit, but basically all, all uh, understanding and creation, right? The 10,000 things they call it. And they say in this old saying, um, if you wish to know 10,000 things, first learn one well and uh and that's uh that's something really important i think that in in its own way can be a remedy if not per se the antidote but a remedy for boredom and the dangers we put ourselves in through our chronic boredom you know um dedicating ourselves to becoming better at the things we choose to do the things that are important to us each day they say that if you become one percent better every single day at the end of one year you're basically like 37 times better because of compounding interest which is a, a topic for another video but basically just becoming a little you know that search that that trying to to uh master uh that is to say learn something very well each day learning more and more and more and the things that are important to us the things we choose to do whether that be uh writing or skateboarding or weightlifting or whatever any any art or any craft or any science or any anything you know I think it's a worthy way to spend time and it is in its own way and, and a remedy for boredom uh, which again is uh, is can be kind of a plague so you know if you're if you're gonna be bored let your boredom uh, work for you you know don't don't uh, don't keep shocking yourself don't uh, go down a dark tunnel but rather uh, look for the things that you find meaning, meaningful and search to better know those things. And I think that is a fantastic way to spend time. I think that is a fantastic, if, if you could, uh, if you could sp dedicate your, your life to learning the things that are important to you, it would not be a life wasted. So I encourage you all, go out there, uh, you know, figure out what's important to you and kick ass at it every single day. I wish you all well. I hope you all take care. I hope you all like and subscribe if you don't mind. Um, but I wish you all uh, take care. It's, it's really a pleasure to be talking to you all today. And I wish you peace.